Today we will represent multi-step problems involving the four operations with whole numbers using strip diagrams and equations with the letter standing for the unknown quantity. To begin, we will look at the first example. A three-story parking garage has 1,429 parking spaces. The first level has 424 parking spaces, and the second level has 615. How many parking spaces are there on the third level? Let's begin by representing the problem using a strip diagram. To begin, I know there are a total of 1,429 parking spaces, so my whole will represent 1,429 parking spaces. The first level has 424 parking spaces, so my first box will represent the first level with 424 parking spaces. The second level has 615 parking spaces, so my next box will represent the parking spaces on the second level of the parking garage with 615 parking spaces. I don't know how many parking spaces there are on the third level, so I will label the third box with a variable, which will be the letter S, to represent the unknown number of parking spaces on the third level. Now I will write an equation for the strip diagram we just created to represent the problem. I will begin the equation with the whole number of 1,429, then subtract 424 from 1,429. Next I will subtract 615 from the difference of 1,429 and 424 to solve for the variable of s. I now have a strip diagram and an equation to represent the problem. Now we will represent another problem using a strip diagram and an equation. Selena bought six packs of dice that had eight dice in each pack. She went to the store the next day and bought four more dice. How many dice did Selena buy altogether? To begin, I know she bought six packs of dice, so I will represent the six packs of dice with six equally sized boxes. Next, I will put eight inside each box to represent the number of dice each pack has. But the next day, Selena bought four more dice, so I will draw a smaller box next to the six equally sized boxes that represent the dice, and inside the smaller box, I will write four to represent four more dice that she bought. This first row of my strip diagram represents all the dice Selena bought. I am trying to find the total number of dice Selena bought altogether, so I will represent my whole with a line that begins at the beginning of the first pack of dice and goes up to the last four dice Selena bought the next day. In the middle, I represent the total number of dice with the variable d. Now I will represent the problem with an equation for the strip diagram I just created. I will begin the equation with the variable d followed by the equal sign to represent the total number of dice Selena bought altogether. Next, I will write the six to represent the six packs of dice Selena bought followed by a multiplication symbol because she bought equal packs of dice. Then I will write an eight to represent the number of dice each pack had. Lastly, I need to add four to the product of six and eight to find the total amount of dice Selena bought altogether. I now have a strip diagram and an equation to represent the problem. 